Welcome back. We are joined now by Amy Townsend, who is with the Camel's Child Development Center. And on the far side, Tiffany Reed, who is a early <laughs> childhood educator with the center. It's great to have you guys back on the show. Good Thank you. Yeah. Always fun to be here. Yes, well, it's lovely to have you. And I know last month you were here talking about the Dandelion Gala that was being held, I believe, yeah. at the Dunes. Yes, uh, correct. Fundraiser for your fantastic playground that you want to have at the Development Center. How did the evening go? Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. it, it was, was so much fun. Very Lots successful. Of fun. Yep. Yeah. We had parents there, uh, sponsors, uh, all of our educators, and just people from the community came too as well. And we just had so much fun. How many tickets did you end up selling? We sold out. Oh, isn't that awesome? We sold that out. So it was fantastic. Why was the fundraiser held? You guys have a playground that you want to build as a phase into what you've already got going on. Tell me right. about that. Uh, so I guess at the gala, we kind of unleashed, uh, unleashed the, the, <laughs> the um, mock-up. They did like a preliminary blueprint kind of of what they want the uh, backyard to look like. Yes. So as we said last time we came on, we had Cam and Tangi on from Scaled Space Designs, and they're located uh, on the North Shore, really right around the corner from where we are, so they're like our neighbors. Nice. And this There's is actually like a... A rendering. A rendering, yeah. A rendering, so, yes. Um, this, you can actually see that it looks like a playground, but we're, my, my boss's vision is to make it even more like a forest. That's so cool. So I think maybe even more green and that kind of thing, but you can see there's going to be a pond, so there'll be like frogs and wildlife. And, and then we'll have birds coming. Yeah. Sorry, Tiff. No, that's totally fine. And then the teachers and the educators will be able to shut off the water as well so that it won't get, it will be safe for the yes. children as well. So yes. it won't get too deep. And then we will be able to uh, dam it. So the children will be able to put sticks and waters or wa um, rocks and everything in it. And yeah, it's just for their education purposes. So like a little magical wonderland exactly. of nature right yeah. in the backyard of you your can, center. You can read about those things and then, you know, and that's cool too. Or you can experience it for yourself. So, okay, you're reading a book about a duck, but here there's ducks in our backyard and you can watch them fly and you can yeah. hear them quack and you can, you yeah. know what I mean? It's just so cool. So good for kids. They can yeah. see it and hands it's on. just more tangible, more hands-on mm -hmm. and that's kind of our vision. Mm -hmm. And we want it to be accessible to all special, any kind of special needs, any exceptionalities. We're kind of noticing at our center the face of special needs is changing and it's not always visible. I mean, sometimes there's trauma and we've got a lot of kids that have kind of suffered through some tough times in yeah. their short little years. Yeah. And we're trying to, you know, let them grow from that. They don't have to forget it, but it can be just part of making them stronger, who they are, and become even bigger and better. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, do kids of all walks of life come to the center? Are there some kids that have no special needs, or do mm -hmm. they all? Yep. Oh, yeah, we've we got, got lots of typical, typical to... Non, atypical yeah, or atypical. unique. And, and so this outdoor space is going to have wheelchair accessibility. It's going to have ramp or what are those things? <laughs> Sorry. The um, railings uh, yes. for yes. people that can't see or just have hard time seeing. So the ramps and the railings will be able to guide them through the entire play space. Awesome. We're looking at some great shots of you yeah. guys exploring the outdoors. Oh. It's obvious that you guys spend a lot of time in the outdoors we, there. Yeah, and that's kind of our main thing. There's a lot of uh, children we're finding uh, nature deficient, nature deficit and disorder. And that's becoming more of, a, more of a problem, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And we get it, like times are changing, technology is a big part of our world, but their nature, it's, uh, that's always how it's been. Like we need to be out in nature, we need to be and at when, our roots. And when we're not outside, we bring outside inside. So it's also in the classrooms as well. So great, you guys. Sounds like you're doing great work there. We like uh, to think so. Yeah, you are. <laughs> we have about 30 seconds left. Is there anything that we haven't touched on that you'd like to talk about? Well, we just want to uh, remind everybody out there that we are still, we're always constantly looking for support from the community. So we were just thinking if anybody uh, has seen anything, they think that they can kind of jive with our vision and they want to help out. It could be donating or even just donating time, materials. Feel free to call us, 250-376-2233. Feel free to visit us at the center. It's 157 Holway Street. We're right across McDonald Park. So, I mean, you can come in for a tour anytime. Talk to Helen. That's our big boss at the center. She's amazing. She knows a lot, and she's very cute and friendly. So feel free to come see her. <laughs> and... Um, you can always like us on Facebook. Check us out what we're doing. We've always got pictures up. And yeah. And there's more explanation as to the yeah. outdoor center. Mm -hmm. and, and the yeah. philosophy behind what you're absolutely. doing. Absolutely. This is you our guys. future, the children, our future yeah, leaders. Absolutely. This is important. Yeah. What a pleasure to have you guys on the show Thanks today. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Information on the screen, as Amy mentioned, 376-2233, across from McDonald Park. They're doing great things for the kids there. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.